Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today I'm gonna show you how to use the Find My iPhone feature, uh, or Find Your iPad for that matter, on your iOS devices. So hopefully you won't have to use this, uh, cause that means your device has either been stolen or you've lost it. So hopefully you won't have to, but if you do, this is how you do it. So as you see here, you can download the app in the App Store. It is a free uh, app directly in the uh, Apple App Store, iPhone App Store there. And then once you download it, it'll look something like this once you open open it up and log in. Now, your iCloud login is basically your Apple ID. So whatever you log in to buy apps or purchase apps, whatever it may be, that's going to be your login for iCloud. Now, once we've got all that out of the way, we download it, you activate it, whatever that may be. So basically all you have to do is log in once on your iOS device, it activates it. Now, let's say you lose your device, whether it be your iPad or whether it be your iPhone or even now your MacBook Pro or lap laptop, whatever it may be. What you'll need to do, as you see over here on the screen, it says sign into iCloud. So go to www.icloud.com. Log in using your Apple ID and password, which I'm going to do now. I'm not gonna let you see it obviously, but I'm going to do that now. All right, and once we're logged in, you're going to see a list of things. So in Apple's fashion, it's very nice and neat and pretty, uh, but the thing you're going to want to look for is this little green radar icon here. It says, Find My iPhone. You wanna click on that button there. So once you click on the Find My iPhone button, it'll say Locating. And then once you do that uh, and open up the Find My iPhone application, you will see exactly where your device is. Now, let me give you a few tips on this. Now, if someone steals your device, it's not going to come up on Find My iPhone, okay? What that's going to do is, until they turn the device on, it will not show up. So as soon as they turn it on, then it'll ping and it'll show you exactly where uh, the location of that device is. Now, if we go up here to where you see all my devices and it shows you a list of all of your different devices. Now, if we go and select the one specific device, okay? So we're selecting this device, which is my iPad. We can do a few different things. We can play a sound to locate that device if it is lost. We can put it in lost mode, or we can erase the iPad altogether if you think you may not be able to get it back. So in lost mode, uh, you're able to enter a phone number here that'll, sh that'll call whenever the device is located. You can then go over here to enter a message like, this is my iPad, here is my number, please call me. Or if you think it's stolen, you can put a message in there like the cops have been notified, whatever you wanna do, and then hit done. Once you do that, it'll be locked using a passcode that you have to enter in to unlock. Now we can erase it, you can play the same, Sound, uh, and you can put it in whatever mode you want to put it in. Then when you're ready, you can click on that link again and then select stop lost mode uh, and then it'll automatically get out of that mode that it was in. So again, in our list of devices here, we have all of our devices, your iPad, your iPhone, your computers, whatever it may be, but that's how you locate your device by using Find My iPhone. Now again, you will get an email stating your device has been located at the specific address wherever it turns on for the next time, whenever it is available, uh, the network will connect and it'll say your device has been located at this address. So hopefully you won't have to use these features, but if you do, I hope this video helped you, I really do. Um, and if you have any questions, put those in the comment section down below. And if any of you guys have any horror stories about losing your devices that you'd like to put in the comment box, put them down there. Uh, although they're sad, it's sometimes good to get out that kind of information. So anyways, guys, thanks as always for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one.